Hey there guys! Today I'll be bringing you a video showing you how to build a Micro Lego A380. Now if you aren't looking into actually building this and you just want to see what it looks like, go check out my other video, which is a very short overview of the detail in this aircraft, because this is going to be a very long video. So, we'll start out by taking a stud with uh, pieces all the way around the side, and you will line that with some flat white studs on the right and left, and then after that, you will take a stud like this, which is basically a single white one, put that on the top, and another one on the bottom. Then, you'll take a stud like this, and you could make it, or you could have one that's kind of shiny or just gray, and put that on the back like that. And then, you'll take a sort of 1x2 uh, flat piece like this, and put that somewhere in the middle, not exactly flush with the bottom of it, but something like that. Then you'll take this piece, you'll put that in the side stud area right there, and you'll get another piece, and you'll put that on the back, just like that. And now, you basically build four of these. You'll build them all the same way, with the exact same pieces. And now, for the wing, this is probably the most complicated part, and it's going to take a long time to show you how to build it. So I'll take off this other engine, because you already know how to build that. And we'll start off by taking a 1x4 gray piece, along with one 1x3 angled piece, and you'll take another one, and you'll just kind of angle it like that. There you go. And then you'll get that one put on top like that, and you have basically your start of the wing. And then you will take a big long uh, slanted gray piece like that, and you will put some white studs on those gaps there. You can basically pause the screen and see how this fits together. But then you'll take a uh, angled piece, which has basically has a hinge, and you'll put a 1x6 piece and another slant piece like that on it. And you'll put a 1x4 piece like that on the end, and you'll angle this forward till it just kind of overlaps underneath the wing. And on the on the bottom of that, oops, put that back on there. And on the bottom of that, you will also take a piece like that and put it on the side so it looks like a winglet. And now, you'll take this piece and you'll put this on it so that it should line up, the tail should line there, and this should go on that piece just like that. Now because that was super hard to uh, build, I'll hold it right here so you can kind of screenshot the thing and get an idea for how it goes together. And you'll do the exact same thing with the other wing. That is pretty straightforward. And now, for the part that connects the two wings, you'll take a piece like this, with some studs angling inward, and you'll take three offset studs just like that. And now, here's the opposite wing, so you can see how that goes together, just to make it a little bit easier for reference for when you're putting it together. And now this will connect on like that. Oops, it kind of popped off. Then you'll put the opposite wing on there as well. And then you'll put your engines on. So you'll put this one right there, and the other one in here. And now we will build the horizontal stabilizers, which is very easy to do. I don't really need to explain much here, do I? This is just a 1x4 piece and a 1x6 long slanted piece like that. Oops. And make those two mirrored bricks. And now, for the part that kind of connects the fuselage to the wing sort of area, we'll take a 1x4 piece and you'll put four uh, offset studs like that. And you'll put another studs, or two more studs on the bottom. And that will be part of your gear set. And now for the fuselage. This also is a very hard part to build of the plane. So, we'll take a super long brick, kind of like this. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but let me count. So it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 6 is 16 long. Or you can just have anything which is the equivalent of that, and put a 1x6 flat piece, or a 1x8, or two 1x4 pieces, leaving a gap on the end. Then, this is where it gets super complicated. Now, I don't know how to show this, how you can build it, Maybe if I get close enough, you can kind of screenshot it and see 
what pieces go where. Nah, that. I'm trying manual focus and it's not working very well. But, what you would do is you would take a 1x2 piece, you'll put a single 1 stud right there, a 1x3, a 1x4, and a 1x6. And you'll put a piece like this on the end with a pointy or a pointy cone sticking out. And you'll take two 1x3 or a 1x6 and do the same on top. And then on top of that, you'll put a 1x3 piece with a flat piece and a sort of hinge, sort of grabby claw looking piece. Then an offset stud with one of those and a 1x3 flat piece. And that will go on this just like that. And there's a noisy car passing. That's really annoying. But you'll take this one by 16 brick and you will connect them just like that. Now for the vertical stabilizer, this one is also pretty self-explanatory. It's basically just this. You'll get a 1x4 white piece with a 1x2. Connect them any way, shape, or form you can by leaving uh, this bottom area empty. Not cluttered up with any sort of support on the other side. We'll take this. See if I can show this off on camera, because I've done this with a lot of my builds. And I don't know how well I've shown it. But you'll put it sideways, and you'll clamp it in, and sort of angle it back as far as you can go. And there you have it. Now we'll build the rest of the fuselage by taking a bunch of bricks, just like this. So as you can see, I have taken a 1x4 piece with some offset bricks. I've gone there, there, and there. Now on this side you see that I have five bricks with just one side stud, or you can do ones with double. However you can line something, which is 4, 8, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pieces long. You can just have studs alternating, or you can have them on all, whichever you choose. And then underneath that, this is where it's going to get very hard to explain. You will basically take those all off, and Maybe you could screenshot this and see how this goes together, but there's two 1x6s. There's another one, sort of offset, with a one stud on the bottom, or 1x2. Then you'll take an offset piece with another 1x2. And along the bottom here, there is a 1x8, I believe it is, along with another 1x6. And then on top of that, you have a single 1 stud, a 1x3 and another one by six. Now that was kinda hard to tell what everything is, but I'll zoom in closely so you can see what this all is. And then of course you'll just take a piece like that with a black stud on there. This connects in there. And then you will do this. You'll put your offset side studded pieces just like that. And then, oh no, everything just exploded. <laughs> and then you'll take this piece and you will connect both of them on top of each other so that it all connects together just like this. Now this looks super tall but it will make sense in a little bit and all of those pieces just exploded everywhere I'll put those back together and for the nose of the plane you'll take some pieces like this you'll take a 1x3 slanted piece, a 1x2 and a single 1 stud along with some pieces like this. Let's get as close as we as we can, and you'll take a piece with two side studs, put that like that, and yeah, so you just kind of alternate like that with a sort of round dish bowl on the front, and you'll basically take a 1x3 and a 1x2, another 1x3, flat, you get the idea. And then we'll put the canopy back on top, just like that. And this will connect on the front of your plane that you have just built right here. There we go. And now for the side of the plane. You will take I, what, what I believe is a 1 by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 by 12. And you'll get some flat pieces that will connect the 1 by 12, or 2 by 12 and a 2 by 6. And you want to make sure that you leave one, actually no, you want to make sure that you put hook piece like that. Oh, I just went off ca camera. Piece like that on the bottom. Now you'll build two of these so that they're mirrored. Both have little hook clip things there. 
and that'll go on the side of this. Now how this goes together is that you want to line this up. Let's get in all close again. We'll make sure that this fits to the front right there. So that hook should be on the top and you'll press that in the side. Then you'll take a 1x2 piece and connect that on that side stud and push that back until it hits that. You'll do the other by lining that up with the opposite side, making sure that they both spread back the same distance, which looks about here. Is that correct? Looks like it on my screen. And then you'll take a 1x2 piece, connect it on the side and push it back. So it should end up looking like that. Now it's starting to look pretty good. And then looks like this little piece came off, which went right behind that. And now you will basically connect everything to the body of the plane. You will take your two horizontal stabilizers, and this can get a little bit tricky, but what you'll do is you'll kind of angle it in here, kind of press it in there, and then push it back. Sorry, push it back like that. And you do the same with the other side. You will put it in there. Whoa. And then put it in like that. Now for the wing, this will connect right here and it'll push all the way up to that front area right there. So you slide it as far forward as you can and press it in. And this piece, that will go right behind it just like that. And there you have an A380 everybody. I think that this is probably one of the best looking Lego planes that I have built. Everybody applaud me. It looks great, I know, thank you, thank you. But just to kind of show off some of the detail, I will show it off. I absolutely love the looks of this LEGO plane. It's amazing. So I hope that you enjoyed, I'll be bringing more soon.